Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Mini Mama. Today, what are we doing? I'm glad you asked. Well, we are going to be doing a DIY project. I am trying my darndest to make a blackboard for cheap. That's right, cheap. And a lot of them are around 50 to all the way up to 200, especially of the size that I want. I want one that is like my size. So I saw on Pinterest, <laughs> leave it to me in Pinterest, she's my homie. Um, I'm pretty obnoxious right now, sorry. But I saw on Pinterest that it said that um, you could spray paint like glass and it can become a bulletin board. So I was like, spray paint glass? Well, why don't I just go to the thrift shop and buy like a painting that's about my size and then spray paint the mofo? Anyways, I have no idea. This could be a total catastrophe, but I am hopeful that it will look nice and I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step and it can be your, uh, you can be the judge if you like it or if you hate it or if you'll never do it, or maybe you'll do it. And if you do do it, I wanna know about it. Put it in the comments below. If you're not already a uh, Mama Maniac, I can think with my words. If you're not already a Mama Maniac and subscribe to the channel, please subscribe now and click the like button. Let's do this, y'all. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna try this Rust-Oleum chalkboard. It's black, and then the frame, I'm gonna go for this silver right here, bright, shiny finish. We'll see about that. Okie dokie. And these were about um, between five to seven dollars at your local um, handy store. So cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Let's add that up. So let's, if I only use one, then let's say it's seven dollars. But I know I'm going to at least use two. So that's fourteen dollars. All right. So we're at a budget right now of fourteen dollars. Okay. This is the frame that I found. It is approximately four feet tall and approximately two and a half feet wide, maybe three feet, not really sure. Thank you, Lawnmower, for coming in right on cue. But um, I like the gold, it's all right. It's just very dated looking. I think that plant's from like 1983. And this came from a thrift shop for $24.99 and there's no tax at thrift shops. So right now, $24.99, good old Goodwill. So that's the new budget. And seeing as this tape is kind of special, I think that the painting will come out pretty easy. We'll see. Okay, so the reason I want to take it apart is I want to have like a clean, spray on the frame versus the glass and I don't want there to be like tape marks I hate tape marks so yeah that's what we're going for clean spray it's coming apart so far pretty easily I broke the glass I broke the 30 year old glass and so what am I gonna do with the frame I still want to do something fun with the frame. I still want to spray paint it. I'm not going to use it as a chalkboard anymore. I'm really bummed right now. I can't believe I broke the glass. I just don't want to invest in more money when I tried to make this like a money saver. So plan B. When life gives you lemons, you gotta make some lemonade, you know what I mean? So we're brewing up some lemonade. And right now it's like mystery flavor, but it's gonna be something. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go as planned, I'm gonna spray paint the frame, and then I'm gonna think about what we're gonna use the frame for. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I'm gonna think. And it's gonna be something great. And it's gonna make a moment and it's gonna be awesome. <sighs> Maybe I should spray paint the frame black, like the chalkboard black. I'm into it. I think I'm gonna do it black instead of silver. <sighs> 
All right, it's time to make some lemonade. It's like broken in one, two, three, four places. I can't even like glue it together for that. If it was just once, maybe it got stuck on those stupid, stupid leftover little freaking things. <sighs> All right, lemonade time. See, and it has that like fun little detail all the way around. The gold that you see, you won't be able to see, or maybe not, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. So, I don't know what this frame is gonna be used for, but it's gonna be something awesome. It looks like it's almost dry, which is crazy. I'm gonna leave it out here for about an hour just to make sure it sets. And we'll come back and pick it up. All right, y'all, so this is not how I pictured this. It's really pretty, like I like the way that it came out matte. I think it's like, I like the frame, but I still don't know what to do with it. And I'm kind of stuck. But then I was like, should I just invest in the glass and make a chalkboard? And then I was like, but then it's not gonna be as cheap as I thought it was gonna be. And then I was like, well, what do I do? Do I get some like twine for a couple bucks? You know, my whole goal was to make this really cheap. And then I was looking around in my house. And so this, I'm not sure that it fits, but it's a bulletin board that's so high that currently I'm not even using it. I was planning on putting like emergency contact information for the sitters and um, things like that. Like maybe just random holiday cards on it. Um, Uncle Vince took this photo, isn't that pretty? Anyways, so um, this is like in my office that I haven't shown you guys yet, slash the, it's kind of like the, I think it once was the laundry room to be quite frank with you and I slightly wish it still was, but that's okay. I've never had a laundry room in the garage before. Hashtag not bitter. It's just different. But, okay, so, ooh, my hair, my hair, my hair's doing all kinds of things, all kinds of things. So anyways, I'm gonna try and see if this fits. And if it does, then technically we're still staying in budget because I'm just using things that I already had around the house technically. Pros and cons. Pros, it fits. Cons, not exactly. <laughs> there's like a gap. Can you tell? There's like, there's like, but I wonder if I can do it to where, like, there's got to be a way that I can make it look like it's floating, you know? And then I can hang it on the wall and it goes with the decor in by the front door. And this would be just like, ah, oh, this would just be amazing. I'm trying to work here. If that's not like the cutest face you've ever seen in your life. I don't know what is. Look at that face. Look at that face. You know, it's crazy. I haven't heard him bark like once. I haven't heard you bark at all. Is that normal for a bulldog? Do they not bark? I don't have a lot of experience with English Bulldogs. I had a Frenchie once and she barked. And now he's putting his tushy on me because he's going to sit down. Hey, yo, Schmo, Bernard, not the place. Not the place. This is my workspace right here, my workspace. See, it's going to look really good with that. I don't know what's happening right there. I, I still don't like that like spiky plant, but we're working on it. 
All right, I'll let you know if I get this thing to float. And yes, I'll do a reveal, but hello, I'm trying to vlog here. <laughs> I will do a reveal. Oh, don't mind the dirty laundry, just chilling in the hall. Um, but I, first let me get this thing to float. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Ooh, I have zip ties. Oh, zip ties answer every prayer. Peggy, look at Peggy, just on it. Peggy, get off the canvas. <sighs> uh, so, sorry for the bad lighting. Um, I found a staple gun because there is like a cardboard sheet right here. I don't know if I'm strong enough to staple it yet. Um, just because my little monos, watch out, this thing is dangerous. My little monos, got little hands. And I remember having to ask for help last time I used this thing. Oh my gosh, why didn't they make these things easier? Probably because you could hurt yourself. Oh, that explains everything. So far, I put in those little staples right there. As you can see, struggle's real. So now we gotta put it on the side, let's do it. All right, I got that side, I got the other side. Look, that's how I hung it before. <laughs> A little bit uh, ghetto. Um, so now I'm going to try and hang it by this same little loop-de-loop. -loop. And hopefully these hangers hold because if it falls, it's going to be a little painful. And it probably will break my frame. I can't believe I did it. I made it float. I almost have it even. It's a little bit thicker on the top than it is on the bottom. But that's okay because nobody is like... Eight feet high. I'm like so proud of myself. This was like a recycled thing that was supposed to be a bulletin board. Well, it was supposed to be a blackboard. And you know, when life gives you lemons, I broke that glass, then you just got to make some lemonade. And that's exactly what we did because I love it. I don't know what y'all think. It was a struggle to put up there. This thing is huge, by the way. Pinterest, eat your heart out. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what that was. Like, I'm so excited. Now I just want to put pictures there because it's like such a pretty place and maybe like stuff that the kids, you know, paint at school and it's right in the entry, right? When you walk in, maybe like a little note just for like, just in case for the sitters. I don't know. I'm really into this. I can't wait to see what I put on it. Sorry for the bad lighting. Um, there will be a reveal of my little hallway area, but as you can see, we're still putting things together. I'm just glad this one's done. Man, I really thought I was gonna be putting up a blackboard. I thought this was gonna have a blackboard right there. Hey, it's like, you, okay, hear me out, right? Like, you don't always know what you're gonna get in life, but if you just go for it, it may not be the same result that you actually thought it was going to be, but it'll be something maybe even better. Okay, cello. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how cool is that? A floating bulletin board. Uh, Martha Stewart, it's got nothing on this. Hair. <laughs> well, she does have hair and makeup and, you know, all that. And, um, rough and tough right now, but hey, whatever. I'm putting things together. All right, anyways, that's all for me. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now, click the like buttons, and thanks for watching my DIY. Kind of, it's kind of a DIY. It's kind of not, because I thought it was gonna be something else, but you get the point. This thing is as tall as me, by the way.
it's like over 50 inches.